So 50 Absolute uh, is at the corner of her Ontario and Burnham Thorpe in Mississauga near City Centre. It was built in t at the end of 2012, so it's about five years old now. It's got about 460 units in total. Demographics, late 20s, early 30s. Percentage of renters versus owners, yeah. I'd say renters 70% and owners about 30%. Yeah. Building that community was one of the things that we thought really needed to happen in this building because it didn't seem like there was much before that. I'll, I'll admit I was, I was a little shy to go up to anybody to even talk to management, um, management security. I didn't know any of my neighbors. It was literally me just coming home to my home, to my unit. Yeah. And that was it. You didn't feel like, it, it felt more like a house, not That's like a right. home, right? Yeah. yeah, and we wanted to change that. Communication lacked, uh, uh, people weren't uh, getting the information properly. And uh, we needed to be able to get the message out. Uh, and our demographic is younger, so it needed to be, the message had to go out quickly and efficiently. They didn't want to have to read a big long notice. There was print notices that were posted on walls and looked very messy and un unprofessional, we thought. We, we wanted to get away with that pretty quickly. Um, and using the, uh, the software uh, the, the, that management used to communicate via email to a lot of our, re to our residents. That was necessary, but it, it wasn't working. Yeah, we had uh, a, a different system uh, on, in the elevators uh, that was advertisement based and we had very little control over which we did not like. I didn't have enough time as I was riding the elevator to actually read uh, the notice that was being given and so I thought it was just useless. The screens if I recall mm -hmm. had a ton of information, several yep. different tabs yep. and it's all touch screen so people would be flipping from the sports yeah, section that's true. Yes, to I the, forgot about that. So yeah. truthfully I don't recall ever mm. reading a message. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hence, hence why they, we got rid of it, because yeah. it just it, it wasn't working. Yeah. <laughs> that, that message from management was completely, nobody, they, they were all going right past it <laughs> most of the time. Whereas, did you notice, it's just, it's in your face, it's just, it's there, and you can only read and what we give you. Yeah. Um, but I, that's actually what we liked, because, yeah. I mean, again, we just, it's about getting a message across, yeah. and that's oh, the best way to do it. Our previous manager, Linda, she arranged the meeting uh, uh, with DigiNotice. And uh, when, we, when we saw the presentation, John and I, we were, we were pretty much sold right on the spot. What I really liked about DigiNotice was that it is very visual. Um, and I think by going that route, your message gets across so much faster. The cost uh, to replace our screens uh, was not, uh, was a bit of a consideration, but it wasn't something that scared us uh, away from uh, looking at it. Uh, we weighed the, the, the benefits that we would get from being able to give people direct messaging. We had um, balcony problems in terms of people throwing garbage off their balconies. One of the biggest issues that we had in this building was water. Water usage is just, so high and it's it's a cost. When we came on board uh, I had been to two failed AGMs as an owner uh, not on, not being on the board and we knew that it was important to uh, ensure that we achieved quorum at our first AGM since the building uh, was completed. Another but, um, campaign that we wanted to run was for short-term rentals. It, it's against the rules actually because yeah. um, it's a security it's a security thing. One security thing that I thought was key in our building, we have a lot of um, piggybackers. Oh, yes. Who they, did, they just follow you right into the building. So after a year or so with Did You Notice, I've got to say um, 100% we flipped it around. I actually know my neighbors now. It's amazing to see um, other residents in this building interested to come to events like pumpkin carving contests yes. or the game night or even our, barbecue. our annual our, barbecue every year. Our summer year. barbecue was a big success. Yeah. It was a rainy day Yeah, and we ended up having to have it up here in the lounge. Actually uh, with that, because it was a, we weren't expecting a rainy day, it was so easy to just post something on DigiNotice, yes. hey, by the way, we're now moved upstairs to the 48th lounge. Yeah. Um, so, we, I mean, it's, again, it's a great and quick way to communicate to our residents. The ease of 
broadcasting to the entire building is huge. It's, it eliminates having to go, go and hope for the best that everybody will view their emails or check their mailbox right. for a notice. Or it run around the building that. posting notices That's as well, right. right? Yeah, it yeah. eliminates that. Yeah. It has made uh, their job a lot easier, our, our uh, manager and our admin, and they're able to get the message across quickly and efficiently. Uh, it's, save, it's saving them time to do, other, to do some of their other tasks. Everybody has to ride the elevator to get to their unit. Yeah. So uh, if the message is on there, they're going to see it. The advice I would give to other boards uh, looking uh, for a tool um, is that DigiNotice isn't only a tool, it's actually a service as well, and they work really well together. They're the experts in how to, uh, how to send the message across. Uh, we'll give them the, our, our needs, and they will actually come up with a creative way of, uh, of getting that message across uh, that most people will understand and pay attention to. If they want to communicate more effectively with uh, their residents, uh, that DigiNotice is definitely the way to go. They have more control over the message and the messaging is direct uh, and uh, in the end it will help uh, eliminate any issues that they have and it'll end up saving the money in the long run.